don't overshoot the landing, don't overshoot it. And I came in obviously a little bit too slow. What the oh. f just happened? Going into the 2008 season, all that was on my mind was going fast on a snow crust track. Until X Games hit me up and said, hey, we're coming out with this new event called Speed and Style and it's a combination of racing and freestyle. And knowing that you've been a racer forever and you've shown success there, and that you do some small tricks off the finish line, we thought, hey, if you can figure out how to do some big ones, you can be entering this new event. Things were going great. I was learning tricks, and I remember, I remember when I told uh, the race director from Polaris, they said, hey, I, I want to enter this new event called Speed and Style. And I explained it to him and he said, everything's good as long as you don't do any backflips. <laughs> I said, okay, okay, no backflips. The whole time I'm thinking, yeah, I'm totally going for a backflip. That first year of doing freestyle and speed and style, I mean, I, I couldn't even believe that I, first off, made it to X Games and to be able to go on to win two gold medals. And because of that, we were then nominated male athlete of the X Games, and I, I won a, a car, and I mean, it was absolutely incredible to go from not jumping ramps only a few months before to winning the biggest event in freestyle. And uh, that, was, uh, that was a moment that I will never forget. Levi Lavalle with the gold after the first year of success in freestyle, I was beaming with confidence and I said, man, I, I want to go for a double flip. I want to I be one of those moments at X Games that people remember. When we attempted the double backflip to snow for the first time outside my shop, <laughs> I remember being about as nervous as a person can be. You know, we had practiced it into the foam pit multiple times. And he said, let's move the ramp over there. Let's try to get one in before we go to X Games. And you know, that'll hopefully give us a little bit more confidence once we get there. So we set it all up, we go for it. And I came in and my biggest concern was I didn't want to overshoot the landing. Cause I knew if I overshot the landing that I'd be falling from 55 to 60 feet above the ground and landing, you know, out into nothingness. And I knew there was a good chance I would be hurt. So I was like, don't overshoot the landing. Don't overshoot it. And I came in obviously a little bit too slow and under, under rotated and, and essentially shorted the jump by about five feet. And I remember when I jumped up afterwards, I just said, I'm okay. I, I just gotta hit it faster. And the like 10 people that were there all looked at each other like, Oh my goodness, I can't believe he's alive. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was a scary one. The day we did the double backflip at X Games, <laughs> there was no way that I wasn't going for it. You know, when you're jumping a 500 pound machine through the air, 50, 60 feet up in the air, it's definitely a concern. And that's like the biggest thing mentally is to get yourself to say, to, to trust in your preparation and your ability to block out that fear and just do what needs to be done. Double backflip coming from Levi Lavelle. I think he's going for it. Everybody is stoked that he is fine. That was a big impact, almost landing flat, it looked like. <laughs> it's like it was pretty crazy because snowmobiling is a pretty small sport, but that year when we did the double backflip, I remember it was top 10 most searched things on Google. I had no idea it was gonna be that big of an impact. My thing was I just wanted to push myself and push the sport of snowmobiling and, and like I said, be one of those moments at X Games that would always be remembered. And it was cool because I, I think we were able to achieve that.